Hello and welcome to an all new episode of Play Down. It's Hot Toddy and Miss Pingrino and Teebs the Cat's tail and ass. But, yeah, full get a, on. Get a good but. look at that booty <laughs> on this show. She got a cute one. She does. It's, it's cute. Fuzzy. It's cute fuzzy. And welcome <laughs> to once again to the Super Fuzz Game Room. We've done some more redecorating. Yep. Uh, if you recall in the last episode, these magnets. Those were up around the on the either side of the Super Fuzz Game Room sign. During the episode, they started to fall down, which angered the gods. And so, Miss Pingrino hooked us up with some really nice game stickers, stickers which I, I'm a fan of. They just make the game room game, game roomy. roomy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> and in addition to that, we have this really neat streaming sign. Uh, which is game related. It was. It's been in other episodes of other shows in the game past. Game related. I think it's more just like film related when we're filming because we're streaming for you guys. I Dan. Anyway. But anyway, <laughs> welcome to another edition of Played Out. If you're not familiar with this show, what we do here is we play games and we tell you about the games. That's basically basically it. it. it we it. let you know if they're worth purchasing, worth playing. That's right. Uh, because I have a game problem and I will purchase it whether it's shit or not for so <laughs> for those of you who are wondering this is actually our second take because I tried to show you all our games <laughs> just... this really is a game room truly but the games are all off camera they're all, they're out of frame over there uh, we have two bookshelves full of games That's plus right. uh, more on the floor so plenty of episodes to come and I already have about four or five games in my Amazon cart that I between between this show and, the, and what? <laughs> between this show and the Smoking Hot Toddcast Game Edition, we will never, never. be out of game shows no, to do for this never. network. It will never be a uh, done. And but if there's a game that you want us to review, comment below. Yeah, if comment below. Game, what game do you want us to play? What do you want us? To, what do you want to see on this show? And we'll play the damn game for you. We will, because you know games are not cheap anymore. They're normally at a minimum of like twenty bucks. So if you don't want to waste it. I'll waste it for you. Because I have a problem. I gotta poop. And now on to this episode of Played Out. Miss Pangrino, what game are we playing on this episode? This one I actually found out from a customer at my store called... Telestrations. Ba -ba. Obviously, as you can read, this says Telestrations After Dark. So this is the adult version of the game. However, there is a children's version that just take the After Dark part out, hence illustrations that you can play now, is with this, the is, family. Was this family, but now, well, not this version though. This version we do not play with family. Nope, this is a this, this is this, an older version, this, 18 plus kind of version. Just toss about testicles um, and things like that. Is this game based on anything? It, it is. It is based on the game of telephone. You know the game where you're on one end and your friends on the other end of the playground, and you you got the cups and you got the long string and you talk mm. to each other, things like that. No, that's making a telephone out of string and cups. What am I think? What was the game then? <laughs> the game of telephone is where you, you do, I mean, you still do have one friend at one end and one friend at the other, but there are several friends in between to which I may say, I like pickles. And then you tell the next person who tells the next person who tells the next person. And by the time you get to the end, it may be, I like trickles. Oh, that was the oh. problem. I didn't have any friends. Anyways, besides this being my new favorite game, this is one of my new favorite boxes to a game because this game, being the After Dark version, the box actually glows in the dark. <laughs> Look at it! Can you see it? It actually looks pretty, really good. Oh, cool. You can see it, um, well, yeah. <laughs> can see it pretty well and it glows on like all sides. Uh, the back, not so much, but the front and the sides do. So that uh, is just another reason why I love this game. I mean, it, the creativity is just kind of crazy already. And it's we're just talking about the outside of the dang box. So. Open it up, Ms. Pingrino, what we got? Let's open it up. Take your time, we only have 80 years. Instructions, don't need those right now. All right, the first. That's two seconds of your life and never get back. <laughs> 
The first nifty part of this is that you can also play it while drinking because coasters. Hey, 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 hey. Get drunk on us. Get drunk on us. Well, really get drunk while playing Telestrations. They are little coasters and they are actually stated in the instructions as coasters. Uh, everybody gets one that matches their handy dandy little notebook. Ding! Ding. Who are you, Steve? Steve from Blue's Clues, sure or, am. Or was it the, are you the other guy? What was the other guy's name? Uh, there was Steve and then there was the other guy. Who was the other guy? Uh, Bob? No. John. Keep talking, I'll figure it out. Not really sure. But you use this little handy dandy notebook to, we keep score, we write words, we draw pictures, we guess words. I'll explain more of that later, but just know you get a cool little handy dandy notebook. With that, obviously you need a writing utensil, dry erase marker, and little cool erasers. They're cut into little tiny sizes. So they Joe! Have wow, that was loud and took a hot minute. That's um, who replaced Steve on Blue's Clues, Joe! Welcome back, hot toddy. So, you may be asking what you draw. Well, we pick one of these handy dandy little cards. Boom, right there. Uh, there are six options on both sides. There is no difference. Um, for example, on this one, we have strip mall, pink eye, pull out method, acid reflux, getting an erection in class, and pubic hair on a bar of soap. Oh my God, that just explained all four years of college for me. Ah, oh, memories. What a, <laughs> what memories. a party. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a party. Okay. Uh, there are sometimes options where you get like an underlined thing, insert photo here to show you what I'm talking about because you can't see it from this far. Um, this one says TV show and it's underlined. Therefore, you would pick whatever TV show that you wanted. Uh, you do write it down in your little notebook. Go ahead. What are you doing stopping? Because you're being ridiculous. Put your hands down. Stop. I love this show and I love you and I love everything we do here. So, you will write down whatever TV show that you want to draw in your little handy dandy notebook. Therefore, you can't change it like halfway through the game. It has to be whatever it is. Uh, for example, my favorite show is... Oh, um... Good Mythical Morning. No, Warehouse 13. No. Uh, really, both of those are good, but murder I was going to go with murder shows. I was going to go with Snapped. Okay. Because I feel like that right now. <laughs> How do we decide which number to draw? Obviously, everybody has to draw the same number. Can't be like a two for him and a five for me. It has to be the same number. Everybody has to agree on one. But we go around the room with the group and we ask, or, you know, we, we all say the numbers that we think we can do. And right. we usually converge on one number. And that number, majority rules, if everybody agrees to that number. And again, everybody's numbers are different. They're, they're not the same concept. Yeah, so like, what like my we're... six on my card are different than Hot Toddy's six on his That's card. That's right. right. So we're just agreeing to draw that number, whatever it is. Right. And if you get outvoted on the number, too bad, so sad. You gotta Good draw luck, that. luck, you, you have to draw Whatever it. your number two or your number six is, you have to draw it. Sometimes you get the shit end of the stick on that and you have terrible, terrible things to draw. But it makes for a hilarious game. I'm not gonna lie. Side note, if you're wondering why Goldberg, the former WCW <laughs> wrestler, is in this shot, this is a box uh, for Bash and Brawlers, which was a thing in the late 90s. It's WCW Bash and Brawlers with Diamond Dallas Page and Sting, Kevin Nash and Goldberg. Bash and Brawlers. Are you ready to bash and brawl? When you wrestle with Bash and Brawlers, they tell you what you're bashing. You smashed my head. Listen. Oh my God. He knows you're grabbing his nose. Get off my nose. Twist his arm. Oh my naked arm. Hear him beg when you bend his leg. You're breaking my leg. Bash and Brawlers tell you when you win. One, two, three. Who's it's like they're alive! I was never a big wrestling fan, but I loved these things and I had one. I still have it at my parents' house. But anyway, I used the box to stash Christmas decorations in, and the Christmas decorations <laughs> are out of frame over there. Almost, you see a little bit of Goldberg here. So that's right. what that is. Because we live wondering. in an apartment and don't have room for all of these things. 
They don't know that. No, this is a <laughs> glorious studio. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome to the Super Fuzz Game Room, Miss Pingrino. That's why we're playing Telestrations okay. in the game room. Okay. Even though the damn flying saucer from Will Be Plan Nine <laughs> is right behind me. Why don't we? Why don't we just get right into it? L let's give give me okay. a card, and we'll we'll both decide what number we're going to do. Again, we can't actually play the game because we don't have enough people. So this is a game for four to eight players. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to show you a clip of it because obviously we cannot really play. Uh, okay. On your card, so. Miss Pingrino. I mean, on my card, Miss Pingrino. I can draw one or. Oh God, one or two. Okay, well, on mine, I can draw, you said one or two? One or two. One or two. Yeah. Um, that not good, huh? Well, we'll go with one and hope for the best. All right, so we're going to draw- I really wanted three. Number one. <laughs> Uh, and so now number so now the first thing we do is we write down in our secret word panel yes what it is that we are going to draw so we flip the sheets because obviously we want to start with a clean page right we don't want our secret word showing the first thing we will do obviously is what it says here what it says here we sketch it we have to draw our secret word the best we possibly can and we're gonna trade off no we're not I'm not yet why not it's that time it is not that time i have to draw it first oh that's right yeah we gotta do that don't we <laughs> Ooh, I promise, guys, we have played this game before, and, and we've done it well. That was, it took me a minute. Um, All right. Oh, I can't write words. No, cannot write. It's the same thing. Very similar important. to Pictionary or Charades. No numbers, no words, no describing to somebody from afar. Pictures only. That's all you got. When you are done... You fold up your little handy dandy notebook and you pass it clockwise, which we don't have a clockwise, so we're just gonna trade. And I'll be tra trading with Miss Pingrino <clears throat> and we will find out exactly what it is that <laughs> Miss Pingrino drew. Uh, you know what? Uh, here's the thing about Miss Pingrino's is I'm probably gonna have to block out her picture. Half of it. Half of it. Um, <laughs> but I, I think I get the gist. <clears throat> so now what you do is once you've looked at the sketch, you go to the next page. Which, which and I can give y'all a clip of his. This is his sketch. Right. This is a hot toddy sketch. Uh, which I'm pretty sure I know what, where he's going with okay. that. So. But on the next page is guess it. So when you guess it, now you have to write in the guess it column what you think it is. And I'm pretty sure I know. Uh, spelling is not necessary. Uh, and, and I'm not. And handwriting to, yeah. not necessary uh, to be good. So here's where things get a little kinky. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> college if, years. For some reason, Hot Toddy did not guess the secret word correctly and he wrote down some other random word the next person has to now draw that random word so and it can also be phrases not just words can be words can be phrases as you'll see here in a minute uh, yeah so but anyway since it's just the two pass of us back to each other since it's just the two of us we're done now and so now i will reveal yep. what my original uh, thing was mine of course was the bride of frankenstein hello teeps and teeps is in the shot <laughs> teeps the cat very curious very very and then this was my sketch yep. and it, 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 it's a pretty decent sketch it's, it's not too it's bad pretty, but miss um, pingrino's guess was in fact the bride of frankenstein technically my guess was bride of frank and that's because I don't know how to spell Frankenstein. Yeah, you did well. It's fine. So... But she got it right. <laughs> so in, in this small case, she was correct. And she would get a point in this case. Ms. Pingrino, right. reveal to the world. I'm not going to show so anything of yours. So my... Um, can I even say it? Yeah, you can say it. Okay. Just don't show it. So my word was doggy style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To which 
I drew a, a, a dog. A doggy face and, and then, then the actual position. And, and that's all we're going to say. Yeah, and then I drew adults. And we're going to move um, on to the next thing. Where to which I correctly guessed doggy style. He did style, correctly guess it, yes. And we're not going to show anything of that. Um, but And then that's how it would go. But right. if, if there was another person to uh, my immediate left, uh, they would have to do their interpretation of doggy style. Uh, and then whoever Miss Pingrino passed it along to would have to do their interpretation of the Bride of Frankenstein. Right. Uh, and so on and so forth. In this particular round, we got lucky because we, Teebs, you're cramping my style. <laughs> In this particular round, we got lucky because we knew exactly what the other person drew. Right. There's Which been... normally they are not that easy. Um, There's plenty of occasions, <laughs> let me tell you, where I have no idea no, that's what. Not the show. Huh? That's not the show. What did I say? Let me tell you. I am just like that's that. <laughs> Stay. Peace out, bitches. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. But that is a show to check no, out. No. Let me tell you. No. No. Anyways, uh, there. I do remember one round we played with a couple of our friends. Barefoot and pregnant was one of the words. And although you may think it's really easy to draw, Misinterpretations oh, happen a hurt. lot. It hurt, um, actually, a it, lot. It was, it was the just kind of looked like an overweight Bigfoot right. when we were drawing it. The, so. the whole game can hurt if you're not doing it correctly, so we highly suggest that you be careful on what you're doing, because, wow, it can yeah. go down a weird road. So, uh, point-wise, to be exact on the points, so there's two ways to score. Uh, there's friendly scoring. So you give one point to the player with your favorite sketch, one to the player with your favorite guess, so your favorite worded guess, and then yourself a point if the last guess in the book matches the drawing. So for us, we'd each get a point because our word matched, the picture matched the guess. So to we, we win. Um, <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't really count. In it our it doesn't count because there's only two of us and it doesn't, it doesn't right. work. But there's also a competitive scoring. Um, so as you reveal the outcomes in your own book, everyone can score. The guesser can earn one point if their guess matches the secret word or the previous guess. So if for some reason he had, let's say I didn't think it was the Bride of Frankenstein, I thought it was Jabba the Hutt. Don't ask me why that it, came to my it, mind. I could see that. Um, but that's what did. So I would then write Job of the Hut. I would not get a point, but if the person behind me could then correctly draw that, they would get a point because they at least got my portion right. Sketchers can earn a point if their sketch helps a guesser actually guess. And then you can give yourself a point again if the secret word matches the last word. That's it for scoring. You don't have to score. Normally when we play this game, we actually don't. Uh, for us, it's just kind of fun to see how twisted the guessing and the drawings play it for fun. turn out to it, be. It, it it's, really, it's yeah. very entertaining. You don't have to keep score. Just do it just to see how, yeah. how bad you can draw and or how bad people's guesses are. Which a lot of times is it's really, equally it's really bad. <laughs> it's really, really bad. Equally um, horrible. A lot of times, you know, people are like, oh, I'm not an artist. Well, you don't have to be. Yeah, you, you kind of do because I suck at drawing. <laughs> uh, but, but that's okay. If you want to actually play for points, yes, you need to be an artist. If you want to play for fun, to just watch the twists and turns happen. Play with people who are not artists. Play with people who use these coasters and get smashed. Like, it, right. it is, it, I really do enjoy this game. Well, let's vote right now, Miss Pingrino. But before you even speak, mm -hmm. if you recall in the last episode, well, I mean, she's gotten it wrong in every episode. Every episode, Frenchy, spark. there's only been but two. If, if you remember the last episode, let's take a look. Play on. Fuck. Yeah, things didn't end well. <laughs> no. So what what do we say when we have a positive review about a game on this show? We play on. No, we game on. <laughs> I just played the segment of you doing it and me throwing brain fart at the camera. Play on. Game on, you fuck! <laughs> It's not play on, it's game on. I am destined to not get this right. I'm so sorry. On this show, when we review a game, 
Uh, we have it on two grading scales. If it's a good game, if we recommend it to you, we it's game, game on. on. And if not, we say it's a crappy game, it's At game, game off. off. So don't, don't pretend like you know this. Okay, let me reiterate. No, 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 Just no, no. we don't me. got time. We're going we're half an hour here with Ask this. me. Okay, fine. Miss Pingrino, would you recommend Telestrations? Would you say game on or game off? I definitely would say game on. All right. I absolutely love this game. I think you will love this game. Uh, if you have children in your family, get the reg. Don't, reg don't, don't, don't. Don't get this, this version. Get the regular version. Oh, please. Uh, I think it actually comes in a red box. Um, you can get it from Walmart, you can Target. Get it, you can get it in the movie rental thing outside CVS and Walgreens? Not that red box. The box itself, the game comes in is red. Salvation Army? <sighs> And on to me now. Would I recommend this Would game? you recommend it? Yes. This is the first episode where I've had to think a little bit about it, to be honest with you. I like Telestrations for what it is. Uh, it is fun to play around with if you, know, if you just want to confuse people or you know, just have fun. But like, I, there's some times when I, just, I have no idea, because I don't think third dimensionally when it comes to my drawing. I've never been able to do that. I'm a horror. My handwriting is horrible. I, I, I'm good with graphics because hey, you saw our, you've seen our logos for our shows. Don't don't even get me started. <laughs> when it beautiful. comes when it comes to graphic design, I know what I'm doing. But when it comes to actual drawing, I am I am no bueno. So uh, that's that's a kicker in the pants. But it is a fun game, and I do enjoy it. And any excuse to get together with friends to play a game is fun. So I'm giving it, uh, however, a mild. It is still. Uh, a game on. I think this is definitely a game you should play if if you if really if you want to just you know maybe have a few uh, and you're just looking That's, to have yeah. some fun. Telestrations is the game for you but if you're like a harsh competitor but you can't draw yeah I, I would this, not recommend playing this game. Ab so absolutely this really is not a game to be competitive at. No. I mean, obviously you can. Especially if you're a bad drawer. Or, or writer, because sometimes people can't even read what you write. But, <clears throat> anyways. Uh, <laughs> you! You have terrible handwriting and you know it. Worse than I a just doctor. admitted it, but you don't have to lay it. Worse, pick me while I'm down, why don't you? Worse than a doctor. Jesus. Anyways, um, so... It is a game on. That at least you got it right this for time. For both of us. Uh, a very enthusiastic one from me. A mild one from Hot Toddy. Uh, it's definitely, I think, worth the purchase though. Thanks for tuning into this episode. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe for more episodes to be posted. There's plenty more games to come. Like we said earlier in the episode, I have a bunch and a bunch more I want to buy. So. Keep watching for more. If you want to see a specific game, comment down below, or you can eat. Comment down below, or you can eat. What the fuck can I say? Email. Say the word. You can comment down below, or you can email superfuzzproductions at gmail.com. Also, make sure you follow all the other content that we have here on the Super Fuzz Productions YouTube page. Get real, let me tell you, and so forth. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Super Fuzz Videos. You can follow Miss Pingrino at Pingrino, me at Smoking Hot Toddy. It's okay, and play. that's played on. We'll see you later. Okay, bye. Say goodbye, Miss Pingrino. Goodbye, Miss Pingrino. Yeah, okay, goodbye. And I'm, okay. Help.